Hello. I'm Jean-Claude Tuyi Sen, a postgraduate student in Soil Science and Plant Nutrition Department, in Turkey. In this video, we are going to discuss how to identify deficiency of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in corn plant. Such elements are very important in crop production, and are generally known in the form of NPK fertilizer when combined. In chemistry, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are abbreviated as N, P, and K, respectively. Thanks to Pure Sciences. Because, we are going to use chemistry, and biology, i.e. biochemistry, in agriculture. The focus will be put separately on each element for better understanding of how element deficiency, i.e. nutrient deficiency, affects plant growth and development. Let's go on. Corn was selected for our discussion. It is simply due its importance in food security in many regions around the world. You know, maize is likely to be grown in almost all countries. Therefore, it deserves a great attention when it comes to soil fertility, fertilizer use, and plant nutrition. By the end of the video you will be able to identify the deficiency for each of such elements. We will start from nitrogen deficiency, followed by phosphorus insufficiency, and ending with potassium deficiency in corn production. Regarding nitrogen deficiency, there are some symptoms identifiable on the maize crop during plant growth and development stages. As you see in the first image, it is how corn may look like in terms of nitrogen level, i.e. from insufficient to sufficient level, in the soil under corn production. Let's look carefully at all leaves from the lower to the upper part of both crops. What's the difference between both crops? Can you tell me what you noticed between upper and lower leaves? Okay. Hope you can identify the similarities. For the left plant, from the bottom, on the second and third leaf, tip only, there is what is known as chlorosis while for the lowest leaf, there is necrosis. Both are symptoms of nitrogen deficiency in plant. Moving to the plant on the right side, no one of both symptoms is identified, hence, such plant is nitrogen sufficient. Allow me to go to phosphorus. In corn production, insufficient phosphorus can be identified with specific changes arising in the plant. The second image is about phosphorus in corn plant. Let me ask you one question. After attentive visualization of the second image, what did you identify? We are seeing that there is a big difference compared to a normal corn plant. Such plants stunted. Looking at leaves, it is clear that there was a progression of dark green color to purple color discoloration of edges for lower leaves. Finally, we are going to see together about what indicate the deficiency of potassium in corn plant. Referring to the third picture, you see corn plants which look different from previous ones. After careful observation, we can say something particular. Look at older and newer leaves, and from lower to upper part of corn plants. What happened? Thanks. There was translocation of potassium to newly developing corn leaves. Such process is identified by necrosis and chlorosis of lower leaves edges. However, midrib usually remains green in color. Identifying the deficiency of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in corn production allows to solve the issue wisely. There are different options including but not limited to application of inorganic and organic fertilizers. It's also important to think about other factors considered in solving such problems, which will be discussed separately in other videos. Thank you for your interest in plant nutrition. But, subscribe, like, Share and leave your comment. See you next.